Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module 11, lesson one. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can divide a whole number by a unit fraction or a unit fraction by a whole number using a related multiplication equation. The learning objective is to divide a whole number by a fraction and divide a fraction by a whole number. The prior learning is that students multiplied fractions by whole numbers using visual models and equations. Students solved word problems involving multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. All right, so if we move into lesson one on page 267, we have a spark your learning, and it reads, Josiah buys six packages of ground beef. How many one-fourth pound hamburgers can Josiah make from the six packages? A classmate began solving this problem by using a visual fraction model. How can you complete the model and use it to solve the problem? So we have one of the packages already done for us. We just have to keep it going. So that was one package. This would be two packages, three packages, four packages, five, and six. And he cut it, the classmate cut it into fourths to show the one-fourth pound. So we want to do the same. All right, so that would show our six packages of ground beef, each cut into fourth for our one-fourth pounds. And the question is asking, how many, how many hamburgers can Josiah make from the six packages? So if each one's a fourth, how many do we have? Well, if we know each square has a fourth and we have six, four times six is 24. That's the related multiplication that we're looking for, is we know that each one has four and we know that there's six, so four times six is 24. So we know that there are gonna be 24 patties. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. We have a build your understanding. Question number one says, Josiah has three pounds of potato salad for his cookout. He divides the potato salad into one fourth pound servings. How many one fourth pound servings does Josiah have? So very, very similar here. The only thing that's changing is our whole number. It's changing from six to three, but we're still dealing with a fourth. So it says write an equation to model the situation. And remember, what number do we start with? We start with our three pounds of potato salad. So that's going to be our first number is that three. Then we're dividing it up into fourth pounds servings. So we have our three divided by a fourth. Okay, and we're going to show it the exact same way as we did on number one. We had six. Now we're just showing three. So there are my three pounds and I'm just gonna cut them into fourths like I did before. Now for B, it says, how many rectangles did you draw to represent the dividend? Remember the dividend was the total that we started with. So how many rectangles did we draw? Well, we did one, two, and three. We did three rectangles. Then how did you represent the divisor in your visual fraction model? So our divisor was when we split it into four parts. Remember, because that's the number that we're dividing by. So the one fourth, that's when we made our four parts per rectangle. And D, how does your visual fraction model represent the quotient? Remember, the quotient is what we're looking for, and we're looking for how many servings does Josiah have. So that's how many parts total in all three rectangles, how many parts are there. So we're looking for the total parts. And then for E, how many one-fourth pound servings of potato salad does Josiah have? Well, this is where that related multiplication comes into play. So we have four and we have four three times. So four times three is 12. So we know that this would be 12 servings. And then for F, here's our final really 
bringing it home question, how can you use a multiplication equation to represent your visual fraction model? So three divided by one fourth is gonna be the same thing as three divided by four equals 12. And I'm just going to explain really quick how we're doing this, and this is how I would be teaching it in the classroom. If I had 3 divided by 4, the rule for dividing fractions is to flip the second number and then multiply. So what I mean by that is if I'm, and I'm just going to draw two lines here and show you what I mean. So if I had 3 over 1, and then I did divided by 1 over 4, I would flip that second number. So one over four, I would flip the number so it's four over one. So that would be equal to three over one, and then it would be four over one. So I just took that one and the four and I had them switch places. It's always the second number, always, always, always that second number. And then once I flip it, I would multiply. So then if I were going to solve this, I would multiply the numerators and say three times four equals 12, and then one times one is one. So I'd end up with 12 over one. That's why this question is having you do the related multiplication, because that's what you're actually doing when you're solving a division problem by a fraction, as you're flipping and multiplying. Just another way of looking at it. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of these problems and I'll see you back for module 11, lesson two.